Hello everybody, this is the Benjinator and you're watching Let's Play Saga Frontier. This is T260G's quest, part 7, and uh, we just basically defeated the virus inside HQ. So, uh, what you actually want to do from here is, now that you've beaten it, you want to try to get out of here. So, there is no way to get in the castle. Uh, that is uh, not a thing. So, all, actually at this point, what's kind of nifty is that all the viruses are, have disappeared. So, you don't have to worry about uh, trying to find them anymore. Let me just show you how to, or trying to fight them, I should say. Uh, and let me just show you how to get out of here, because I think I actually know. You want to go over this bridge right here. And there's some other shortcuts to get there as well, but uh, this is just kind of the simplest way. You want to go inside the church. This looks a li little bit like the, uh, the Magic Kingdom. Alright, so this is the only part of the game where you're actually dealing with some puzzle puzzles. It kind of reminds me of this uh, old computer game called The Seventh Guest. So what you want to do is that you basically want to light up all these right here. Alright, that's fine. Then you, Oh, wait. There you go. Then you just want to go through the next door. Alright, so go through this one. Alright, so this is where things can get a little bit tricky. What this is is a famous ga game called Lights Out. You want to try to make all of these little squares turn green. Um, and so there's... A lot of this is just trial and error, um, because it changes the adjacent ones in kind of an almost a T-like pattern. So let's... I don't really have any strategy for this, I just kind of... I kind of fool around with it until I can actually get it, but... You know, you'll eventually... Uh, let me just... Uh, let me just try to see if I can get this. If it, if it takes too long, I'll go off screen, but... Uh, yeah, this, there's a really old computer game called, uh, The Seventh Guest, which I would highly recommend that you try to play. Um, if you have a, an account on Good Old Games, GOG, you can actually get that and download it for, I think, only, like, three bucks. I mean, you can try to, I mean, you can, if you want, you can try to get it illegally. I'm not going to tell you how to do that, but, uh, let's just say if you do that, it's going to be a hot lot harder to have it compatible with your computer. So you're better off just getting it from uh, GOG. By the way, recently I tried to play, uh, download Warcraft 2. Speaking of old games, that was one of my favorite games. And uh, it's a little hard to do, do so because Warcraft 2 actually was on DOS. So you have to get DOS box. And um, I found sort of like a, a, a light edition, but... It means that you can't play the campaigns with the voiceovers and all the cool stuff there, so I just kind of threw it away. Or not threw it away, but I deleted it. <laughs> threw it away, put it in the recycling bin. Alright, so... Doo -doo -doo. I'll be right back as soon as I get this. Alright, I got it, so that's exciting. Um, so now we're going to do, be doing more of the same. Which is pretty much the same as last time, except this is a little bit more difficult, because they kind of randomize it more. Um, yeah, so, that took me an extra, I don't know, took me a good s five or ten minutes to get it done. It didn't take me too long, but it was not, uh, like, I'm not, I, I really don't have a method for this. This is kind of, this is kind of one of those things that you just have to kind of keep trying at and eventually you'll get it. I'm sure that there's, like, some kind of methodology that some people use, like, you know, people that especially study puzzles like this. Uh, because I think this actually used to be a uh, like one of those Microsoft games like that you could play kind of like Minesweeper. Um, yeah, it's you know kind of like Reversi and all that good stuff. Like this is this is a fairly classic puzzle. I actually didn't know what the name of the puzzle was actually called. Um, it wasn't until very very recently where I found out it was called the uh, it's called the Lights Out puzzle. Um, just because there are variations of this. Uh, in the Seventh Guest, you actually play two versions of this one that deals only with two colors, which is significantly easier. It's, it's just kind of a binary. It's either on or off. But uh, here, as you can see, you're dealing with three different colors, which makes it uh, a little bit a little bit more difficult. So it happens, though. It's it's kind of it's kind of the creator's way of at least doing something different, which I appreciate, um, especially after we saw the debacle that was Loot's Quest. I mean, that was just that was just really, really bad. <laughs> um, absolutely nothing special about that quest whatsoever. And one of the reasons why I'm very, very glad that it's it's done, it's over with, because uh, we don't have to deal with it anymore. But anyway, uh, let me just finish this up, and then we can pr press on. Alright, so that took actually about 15 minutes to do, so that's crazy. Anyway, you don't want to undo that. You want to make sure to go through the door. 
And uh, what's well, going to be on the other side? Oh, look, it's the core again. Oh, the motherboard, all right. Hey, look, Leonard's back to being human. Yeah, how did that happen? That's crazy. Oh, okay. Appearance of this place is all fake. That's fun. That's kind of that's kind of interesting. System password. All right. Sweet. We know the password. Really sucky if we had to guess what the password was. I got a serial number. All right. Welcome home. Yay! Thank you for destroying the virus. Have a nice day. Oh boy. Damaged data. Yeah, what's what's up with that? All right, destruction of the RV3 model. Mm. Uh oh, we're not gonna have any machine buddies to help us. One Omega model remains. That's something you want to keep in mind. All right, we. That is gonna be fun. So now we know exactly what uh, our we know exactly what TC60G was built for and what he has to do. All right, so there we go. All right, so we made it out of there. We're back. Attack! Wait, what's happening? Alright, so we're gonna slowly get out of this place, and there's some extra dialogue I want to show you. Alright. Oh, okay, so it's the genocidal, uh, it's a genocidal robot, basically. Huh. Alright. I get, oh, okay, so you're, that, that makes sense, you're the anti-RB3 model. Yeah, jeez. Sounds crazy. All right, so now what are we gonna do next? All right, now you want to go here, and you want to. Oh, you don't want to go there. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to look, slowly get out of here, so we'll see what happens. Do 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 do. All right, so we don't want to go there either. <laughs> I, 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 it's so funny. I've just I'm suddenly lost in this place. Ah, there we go. That's the door we want to go out of. All right, so we talked again. Again. Oh man. So if we get too close to it, it's going to destroy everything. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Yen's having a hard time believing it. All right, so now what you want to do, now that we've fixed the virus, what you want to do is you want to go with this thing. Charging energy. Just wait a second. Yeah, the Omega body. That's what this thing, that's what this baby is. So what you want to do is you can either take the body with you and have, and have it changed back at Nakajima Robotics, or you can change the body here, which is what I'm going to do. So now we have the ultimate form. Uh, known as the known as the RB3 model. I'm sorry, the um <laughs> the ultimate model uh, on T260G. So let's let's actually yeah. Let me just give me a sec. I'm gonna equip him all the, all the stuff, and you'll see exactly how powerful this guy is. All right. So now T260G is an absolute house. He's extremely quick. He has a strength of 99, uh, defensive, but also he has what's known as the V system which is something that's really, really powerful that I'm going to be showing you just in a little bit. But this is pretty much the ultimate attack in the game. I mean, 2260G, for lack of a better term, is probably the most powerful character that you will get in this game. So now we're kind of flying around. Look at that. Vroom, vroom, vroom. All right, so let's... I'm just going to show you a couple more uh, pieces of dialogue. Yep, so it's coming. It's on its way. So this is why I'm really glad I did this, this quest last, because... If you think about it, I mean, a lot of the other, um, yeah, this is starting to sound like a sci-fi movie. I, heard, I hear you, Jen. So, a lot of the other, uh, quests, if you think about it, these are quests for personal revenge. These are kind of regional threats. Um, even, even in Hell, for example, you actually see that, uh, that's, that's actually a regional threat. I little, looked a little bit more into it, and it was actually created because somebody got the, you know, wished on the evil rings, and Hell was created. Uh, so that's just a regional threat, but this RB3 thing, it looks like it's going to take take out on, um, take out an entire, take out the entire universe. So the, the level of threat is really high in this particular quest. So, yeah, the next objective is going to be to destroy RB3. So if you're thinking that we're getting pretty close to the end of the quest, we actually are. Um, as you can see, this was a slightly longer quest than the ones we've seen before, but even so, um, we see that... There definitely was this, this sense of threat. All right, so now we're going to be leaving. All right. So now um, you have the option of actually, as you can see, uh, Leonard will say, you're ready to go to the RB3. But no, we are not ready quite yet. So he'll, uh, this is the only place you can get to from. So anyway, I'm going to go to Shrike, and I want to show you something just before I stop the video. All right, so here we are in Muse Tomb. And so I might have shown you this on a, on a different quest, but 
I did want to show you something uh, special here, just for just for kicks, and also give you a chance to see the VMAX system. So we've gone through this door before, and you see that there is a bunch of uh, slimes. I'm just gonna take care of them. As we all know, we just want to scoot around and talk to this giant, scary treasure chest, and it'll be fighting something fun, a little bit different than last time. Oh wait, no, never mind. Uh, that is <laughs> that is merely a mimic box, but yeah, I might as well show this battle. So he is going to use Shock, which stuns everybody, and does absolutely nothing. He's going to use Charm Gaze, which also does absolutely nothing. Um, hmm. Alright, let's, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm going to show this off just, in just, just, for, just for fun. If we don't kill this guy right now, then I will, you'll be able to see the power of the VMAX program, which is totally awesome. Uh, but use at your own risk, because it does take away uh, LP when it's, it's, it's a temporary thing. So, when the VMAX program wears off, you actually will lo lose a lot of strength and a little bit of LP. So, basically what this does is that the VMAX program strengthens a lot of your stats. The very, uh, that's the very first thing. But also, it does something else, which is worth, yeah, because see now that my HP is up to 875. I can't verify how the other stats have actually been affected, but um, you can use Graviton, which is just kind of a standard thing that this particular program can use. But also he has Starlight Shower and Cosmic Rave, which are, which you'll see in a little bit, are just super incredibly awesome. So this is something that you probably want to save for the final boss, but I just wanted to show it right now. Because look, it combines well, and look what he's going to do. He's going to turn into a giant ball and hit him in the face like that. And he's also getting hyper blasted, and look, 7,000 damage. Oh baby, so good. Alright, so that was, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, so that's something you want to keep in mind, is the VMAX program is awesome. And so all we got from that is snake oil, which is kind of boring. But yeah, let's let's try to fight this uh, little little treasure chest man. Okay, so that's... Oh, uh, this is just easy. Alright. I'm just gonna skip this battle. It's nothing really important. Nah, it's just a power cure. Okay. So I feel like there's actually something else around here, but I have to check. Because I remember I got this... I remember I, I was playing this game... Uh, Mike was playing this game, actually, in this quest, and he actually found something kind of cool, so... I think it's around here somewhere. I might be forgetting, but let's uh, let's just check the walls. Ah, there's nothing, nothing at all. All right, so uh, maybe I'm just maybe it's just my imagination, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. Actually, we're looking. This is the point of the game where you know you really want to get some nice equipment, especially when you have the uh, the Omega body. But anyway, so now we actually we figured out what we have to do with our little robot friend. You know, his final mission, and we have his ultimate form. So now the only thing left to do is to go fight the RV3 model. Uh, tune in for the next episode of Let's Play Saga Frontier with T260G. The grand finale is coming, folks.